Right, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video, SAO Fatal Bullet and Vitus SGN. In this video, I'm going to be using uh, an SMG that I really, really like, and it's called the Spiral Shadow 4. I've got this thing with damage versus mech, critical damage, weak spot damage, and crit rate. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be better than the SMG Technical V3, so just let me know down in the comments which one you think is better, which one you like more. The build I'm going to be running for this one is going to be similar to the build that I used in the last video, and it's going to be Conceal 3, Human Fortress 1, Guard Field Shot 4, Power Field Shot 4, and then over on that SMG we've got Skill Free Shot 4, Tranquilizer Shot 4, Viral Shot 4, and Blazing Blast 4 this time in place of Toxic Gas Field, all right? So uh, what I want to do with this build is I've got a couple of different uh, characters that are tanks, and I had this in the last one, but the whole idea is to not get hit, and I did pretty good on the last one of not getting hit. We've got Lin, we've got Basalt Joe on the team. I'm not sure how good Basalt Joe is, but the last video, if you, if you watched it, you'll realize that I really didn't get hit at all, but I really didn't damage the boss too much, so let's see if we can go for damage. All right, so the question for this video is this. One has to protect you. The rest have to kill you. Who would you choose to protect you? This is another thing that I put on my community tab. If you haven't checked out the community tab of this channel, um, definitely head over to the community tab and just check the polls that I put because I love doing polls. I love seeing like what people think, and I love more than that, reading the comments. A lot, a lot of people comment. They're like 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 answers or whatever like that but whatever they do it's super cool so uh the the choices i have is kinito yuki alice leifa and asana right so i think the biggest threat on this list has to be hands down kinito right hands down kinito is the biggest threat so you're gonna have to like find some way to get past kinito i think that automatically there are two things that you can do to get past Kittito. One would be to like have a, a character that can beat him in a 1v1, right? And there's only like one character on his list that's probably beating him in a 1v1, and that is Yuki. Might be faded, might be a hot take. Uh, I just remember that last little fight that he had with her. I believe that she came out on top. I think somebody in the comments of one of the videos was saying that Yuki, like he let Yuki win, right? So I don't know, what is it? What do you think? Do you think he let her win or do you think she's just that damn good? It was a straight up 1v1 though, like in an arena. So what happens when we're running through the GGO desert or the GGO city and Kirito is like trying to hunt me and I'm running and you're running, we're running with Yuki and Yuki's trying to protect us. I just got a feeling that Yuki's gonna hit some like, all right, Kirito's coming, I can see him on the map. You hide here, let's ambush him, and then she comes out of nowhere. She might throw like a grenade at him or something like that. And then like then you know, he's already gonna be like kinda like hindered in some way. And like we trapped him. And then if he's like already kinda weak, I feel like that's when Yuki will kinda shine. And Yuki might pull out a W. But then again, Kirito, he has that protagonist thing. But but what about but what about this though? If he's not the protagonist, do you think Kirito still has the protagonist buff? You know what I mean? Like, whenever he gets weak or he's about to, like, lose or, or whatever, he gets the protag buff. And, you know, he starts using his dual wheel and he just ends up, like, winning. I don't think I've ever seen him with his... Except for that fight at the end of SAO when he was with Akiku Kaiba. He, um, he tried to hit the, the protag buff and Kaiba cheated. So he couldn't, like, he couldn't, like, do his thing. You know what I mean? So what happens? Does he get it? I think if he still gets it, Yuki might get faded. But then he didn't use that buff when he fought Yuki in that match, or did he? Because I don't. I gotta go back and remember. Watch it. Did he use his dual wield? Like I'm. I'm pretty sure he did use his dual wield against her, and he still lost. Now the other thing that I say that you could do to beat Kirito is to like li reason with him. You know what I mean? Or at least like if you're not going to reason with him, like appeal to his like sense of please don't don't hurt her. And I think Asuna would be the second choice, right? Because if he's has to fight against Asuna, I don't think he's going to put Asuna down. And at the very end of it, it'll be one of these things where he beats her. Cuz let's just admit it. It is what it is. He's a better swordsman than than Asuna, right? He's a better swordsman than Asuna. So he fights Asuna, you know, they go down toe to toe, whatever like that. Asuna gets him down weak to the point where, you know, he's like hurt. 
and like moving a little bit slower, but she is just done. And then she's going to be on her knees, hand on her chest, look at him like, Kito! Don't! And he's like, Asuna, but I, I have to. And then like, she like reasons with him and like tries to stop him from like hurting you or me or us. And then whenever he's like in a moment of whatever, she uses one giant sword skill on him. Like something that moves really fast and like, like knocks him down. And then once he's knocked down, it's a wrap. What's he going to do after that? He's knocked down and kind of like stunned or whatever off of her sword skill. So I think like in that, in that sense, I think she does. It. I think Asuna gets a W right there. Uh, anybody else on this list? Alice? Well, I don't know though, because the last time that... Uh, last time that I can remember, I mean, they might have fought again, because Alice is on this list. I think that Alice kind of beat his ass. I'm not sure, though. Like, I feel like, if I'm remembering correctly, I feel like it took Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kirito to take down Alice. So I feel like, actually, Alice might be the move over Yuki. What do you think about that? Because Alice is kind of overpowered. She's got magic. And I guess, too, it would depend on what sword... Or what, like, what world we're in, right? Because I don't know if Alice still gets her, uh, you know, release recollection on the Osmanthus sword anywhere else but the Underworld. So I guess if they're fighting in Underworld, Alice might have the advantage. If they're fighting anywhere else, Kirito might have the advantage there because he's got his dual wield and the protag buff. Um, but either way, in Underworld, I think Alice gets the clear W there. Leifa? Yeah, Leif is just getting steamrolled. Like, she she probably can't do anything too... Oh, wait, I got so many bullets in this clip. I got 100 and whatever. So I can just sit here and wail on him. Stay still. Stay still. Where's he going? Leifa gets completely washed. So I think if Kirito is the person coming after you, definitely either it's going to go Alice, Yuki, and then Asuna. But what if Kirito's not the one coming after you? What if Kirito is the one that's going to protect you? I think the only one that's going to be a problem for Kirito is honestly going to be Alice in that situation. If they're in the Underworld. They might not be in the Underworld, but if they're in the Underworld, uh, Alice may be the only one that is sort of a problem for Kirito. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. I mean, I, I actually want to want to hear your thoughts on this in the comments, so please, please, like, put, like, who you think actually would be a problem for Kirito. That's, that's pretty much going to be the argument. That's going to be the... The test of strength right there. Alright, uh, let's see. What else? Another one? Which of these worlds could you live and survive in for a year? And again, this is one of those things where somebody left a, a comment. I think I just shot a random buff somewhere on accident. Somebody left a comment. And let me see if I can pull that comment up. It was a really interesting comment that they typed. Uh... <laughs> this is funny okay so the first comment says this without a doubt all of them no seriously there's nothing hard about these games or worlds now if you were to pick any souls game to live in and survive then actually think i don't know though okay so let's think about this right alfheim online would probably be the most fun to live in survive in right like, if you were in, like, a death game in Alfheim Online, if it was, like, I think that would be the most fun. SAO probably would be the least fun. My controller's about to die. Definitely, without a doubt, SAO would be the least fun. Uh, GGO? I don't know, man. They got snipers in GGO. You can't see them coming, bro. I don't think I would want to... I just got hit with an electromagnetic stun. That is crazy. All right, so I got to hit my anti-ailment kit for sure. I don't know that I would want to live in GGO for a year. GGO sounds like it might be dangerous. I mean, for sure, this dude, Snivy Snake, what he said was kind of true. Like, all these games are kind of easy. But I don't know if I would survive a death game in GGO. Because of just the bullets. You know what I mean? Like, people were getting picked off at random. Like, they just didn't even know what was going on. They were lost in the sauce. All right, so this guy other said, do we... My connection to the room has been lost. Nani? All right, so my connection to the room just got lost. 
just to finish this off, I'll just destroy this thing really quick and finish this up and read this last one. It says, do we all GGO choosers have to explain? We don't die in real life unless you are part of the cast who is the most valuable member. Okay. Uh, SAO just chilling town so Kirito beats the game and this guy says GGO uh, all the way, hands down. I, I just don't know if I live in GGO. I, I think Alfheim would probably be the place that I would choose to be in for a grip because you can fly, you got wings, I think they got magic there. Like, what, if you were in Alfheim, what would you choose to be in Alfheim? Would you be DPS, would you be tank, would you be support, would you be magic DPS? I think I would probably try to be magic DPS in, in Alfheim, if I'm being honest. I would probably throw some magic and that would be my shtick I'd probably like get my fireball as strong as possible so I could waste people. I want to nuke people with my fireball. I want to have like a spirit bomb fireball and just destroy entire like armies with it. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about this SMG. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you think this build is good? And let me know which GGL world you would choose to live in for a year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Vinicius SG, and I'll catch you next time.